What's a let that sink in fun fact? The United States hasn't minted any new Purple Heart medals since World War II. We've been using the stockpile that was prepared in anticipation of a ground invasion of Japan. Dang, that's morbid, but super interesting. We can't prove we aren't in a simulation. Schizophrenia's hallucinations are shaped by culture. Americans with schizophrenia tend to have more paranoid and harsher voices hallucinations. In India and Africa people with schizophrenia tend to have more playful and positive voices. There's a really new treatment for it called avatar therapy. It has a computer character mimic the particular person's malicious hallucinations. But gradually over time its voice and expressions become more friendly and controllable by the patient. Apparently this treatment has the effect of giving the patient more control over the hallucinations and either getting rid of them completely or making the hallucinations more positive in nature. All six of the stars of Friends negotiated 2% syndication rights for the show. Friends still makes about a billion yearly through reruns. Hulu etc. All six Friends collect a 20 million dollar check annually. Yes, that means David Schwimmer still gets 20 million dollars a year for doing nothing. So when you are alone in your 1BR apt, watching Friends and snickering how any of them are losers who haven't been famous since, there's a reason why. They don't have to work. Ever again. Since its discovery, in 1930, Pluto has not yet made a full orbit of the sun. It went from undiscovered, to planet, to not planet in less than a Pluto year. The Jizzah Sphinx is so old that it was the ancient Egyptians themselves who performed the first restoration after digging it from under the dunes, over 1000 years after it had been built. About 40% of the world's food is wasted, and a lot of that is before it even hits the shelves. Cows kill more Americans than terrorists, most years. Over the space of three days, an estimated 165 people survived both the Hiroshima and Nagasaki nuclear bomb attacks. Tsutomu Yamaguchi is one of the more famous ones, who was only two miles from ground zero when the bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. It hit when he was walking to work on the last day of a work trip. After he heard the drone of a plane, he looked up at it and the sky lit up. He was then plucked from the ground, spun around and tossed into a nearby potato field. Miraculously he survived, despite being covered in burns, soaked in radiation, and with two blown eardrums. He spent a night in an air shelter then took an overnight sleeper train home to Nagasaki to see his family. When he made it to a hospital in Nagasaki he was so burnt a childhood friend didn't recognize him, neither did his family. Despite his wounds he made it to work the next day. He started giving his boss a rundown on what happened, and his boss thought he was crazy. There was no way one bomb could destroy a city. Suddenly, a bright light lit up the room. He panicked and dropped to the floor of the office seconds before the shockwave smashed out the office windows. He had just been hit twice by a nuclear blast in the space of three days. At the age of 93 he was given the title Najihu Hibakusha, or twice bombed person. He died the next year. So next time you think you're having a shtai week at work, yeah, this article is a good one on him. In the lifetime of a Japanese person, they went from samurai swords to nuclear weapons. 1867-1945. Next year, there will be pornsters who were born in 2000. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to the day I ID someone for a drink and see 2000 on their passport. Google's DeepMind self-learning Ali Alpha Zero spent 4 hours learning chess, and proceeded to beat the top chess engine in the world. The particularly interesting part is that it wins by playing in a very human way. Chess engines tend to run algorithms to assess a board after a move is chosen, looking at millions of moves every second, and decide who's better based on a set of parameters, making their play very direct. Alpha Zero seemed to develop a far more human play style. Somehow seeing something less quantifiable that led to an advantage in a position. Over the past 200 years, numerous chess masters studied a style of play similar to Alpha Zero. That means that in 4 hours, Alpha Zero developed a better understanding of the game than we could over the 1000 plus years it has been studied. Lobsters don't die of old age. Taking into consideration that humanity has only explored a small percentage of the ocean. There could very well be a big effing lobster just chilling out there. As you get closer to black hole, time goes slower. This means that everything farther away would experience time faster and faster as you get closer and closer to the black hole. A second for you could be a billion years for those outside of it. 
Thus, if you fell into a black hole and looked outside, you would see the universe die with you. Don't let me leave, Muff. There is, on average, a supernova explosion every 50 years in the Milky Way. On average, there are 30 every second in the observable universe. This one is probably the best let that sink in fact here. Let me just repeat that. Do you know how big the universe must be if it's 30 every second while taking 50 years in our galaxy? Hella big. When the next generation first aired, data was roughly 60,000 x faster than the fastest computer on earth. Today he is roughly 500 x slower than the current fastest computer. Fanta started as a Coca-Cola substitute in 1940s Nazi Germany. So if you like Fanta you must be a Nazi. Fruit Loops are all the same flavor. Next to the US Army, Disney World is the largest buyer and importer of explosives in the USA. I was wondering what McKee needed nukes for before I remembered fireworks exist. Film pyrotechnics too I would assume. There are more tigers privately owned in Texas than tigers in the wild. The moon orbits us from the west to the east, but we see it move across the sky east to west because of the rate of the Earth's rotation. Our observation is like being in a faster car watching a slower car. Heading in the same absolute direction, fall further and further behind us. This is no coincidence, the moon's orbit is a vestige of it being material from the earth. It would be like a truck pulling a trailer on a circular track, unhitching it, and then circling the track and catching up again. If the earth was the size of a marble you would need 7 miles of space to build a scale model of the solar system. The first electric car was invented at the end of the 19th century and it went 65 miles per hour. Because early gas engines had very low torque, some of the earliest cars were gas electric. Due to the way the speed of light works, combined with our current understanding of the expansion of the universe, there are areas of the universe that are both impossible for us to visit or even observe. The fabric of the universe expands faster over that distance than light can travel so it never reaches us. When you combine that with the bit where scientists currently think there's roughly a trillion visible galaxies, four times more stars than exist in the Milky Way, well then. There was a time in history when trees existed but the fungi which causes wood to rot had not yet evolved to digest wood. Dead trees and plants would pile up and the 35% oxygen atmosphere cause massive fires. This is also the time where petrified wood came from. Trees would sit in mud for 1000s of years and not rot while minerals slowly replaced the wood structures. Fires in 35% oxygen, and wood everywhere, I'd be effing petrified too. The entire continent of South America is east of Florida, I read this, said Bullshit out loud, looked at a map, am now in awe, how have I never noticed this before. There was a period of time where four distinct species of human lived concurrently. But everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Neutron stars have such strong gravity that if you dropped a marshmallow into one, it would be like dropping a 3 megaton nuclear warhead on Earth. Also, if you add mass to a neutron star, the volume of the star shrinks. It took humanity approximately 4 times longer to switch from copper swords to steel swords than it took to switch from steel swords to nuclear bombs. When will we get nuclear swords? Are you discussing the option of a more elegant weapon, perhaps for a more civilized age? And it took humans approximately 50 times as long to switch from stone tools to bronze, than it did to switch from bronze to firearms. Imagine you're a vampire, you go to sleep in the early 1700s, muskets and sh, meh, you wake up in 1945, and humans have the ability to wipe an entire city off the map in an instant. Time to nerd out hard. This is a major theme in the role playing game Vampire the Masquerade. If you're playing an older character, the idea that you were once an immortal, godlike being that now has to contend with food that can kill you. Bing Crosby advocated for salmon conservation in the North Atlantic against Denmark's overfishing in the early 1970s. The Danish government banned everything Bing Crosby in Denmark, but because he was so popular there, the Danish people protested the government making them overturn the Bing Crosby law and even to enact salmon conservation legislation. Bing Crosby single-handedly managed to create a piece of Danish law. Maine is the closest us state to Africa. I bless the Mains down in Africa. Scientists who work with cockroaches often develop allergies towards cockroaches. At the same time, they also develop allergies to pre-ground coffee. I don't like where this is going. 
I worked for a large coffee roaster. When you cut open the bags of green coffee from all of those third world countries, it is amazing the things you find. Coffee is essentially dried in the middle of streets and any number of things can end up in there. We found shoes, farming tools, huge needles for weaving the bags, 100% chance of bugs in coffee in some places. The good news is, those little guys are roasted to 400 degrees and disintegrated by the time the roast is over. That's just protein baby. Also heard that people that get bit by cockroaches often develop allergies for both cockroaches and shellfish. Heard of a guy in my city who bred roaches for reptile food. He was going to clean out one of the emptied terrariums. He opened the hinged plastic lid to hastily and a cloud of roach poop dust hit him in the face. Without any previous allergy he still instantly fainted from an aphylactic shock. Goddamned most disgusting animal on earth. Oh and there are apparently 4500 species of cockroach. Of which only 30 are considered pests. Okay I'm freaking myself out and my skin is itching just thinking about this. I'm leaving this thread now. Yeah, best to stop thinking about things like that gap under your fridge you've been ignoring for years. Or what's in all that dust under your bed. Are you trying to tell me there is ground up cockroach in my pre-ground coffee or am I missing the point? Yeah, that's essentially it. Essentially the factories where they grind up coffee generally have cockroaches. That also get ground up and added to your coffee. The Titanic had two sister ships. The Britannic and the Olympic. There was a woman called Violet Jessup, a nurse and a cruise liner stewardess that worked on all three. The Olympic crashed into a warship whilst leaving harbor but was able to make it back. She was on the Titanic as it sank and is referenced in the Titanic film. A stewardess that was told to set an example to the non-English speaking passengers as the ship sank. She looked after a baby on lifeboat 16 until being rescued by the Carpe the other next day. It's not known what exactly caused the sinking of the Britannic but the lifeboats hit the water too early. As the ship sank, the reel stood up and a number of the lifeboats were sucked into the propellers. Violet had to jump out of the lifeboat she was in and sustained a serious head injury, but survived. She was on board for all three incidents in the space of five years. She went back to continue to work at sea for another 30 years before retiring in 1950. She died of heart failure in 71. When the Britannic was sinking, she returned to her cabin and grabbed her toothbrush because that is what she missed most after the sinking of the Titanic. Another fun fact, Captain E. J. Smith, captain of the Titanic, was also the captain of the Olympic when it collided with the Hawk. Had a three literal sink in facts. What a badass. Her portrait should be associated with the phrase getting back on the horse. Or she was a master saboteur working for the Vacunid line. China used more concrete in three years than the US. Used in the entire 20th century. There's about 12 times more trees on earth than stars in the Milky Way. 200-400 billion stars. Versus. 3 trillion trees. Checks out. The Holy Roman Empire existed until 30 years after the United States was founded. 1776, 1806, everyone seems to froge it about the Holy Roman Empire. See? There are more chickens in America than people on the planet. Holy sh there are seriously over 7 billion chickens just in America? That really is a fact that is intense to let sink in. If the sun was scaled down to the size of a white blood cell. The Milky Way galaxy would be the size of the continental United States. The vastness of space is mind-boggling. If the moon were one pixel. Thanks I had a fun time scrolling through a lot of nothing. Seriously killed about 15 minutes on there. The US dropped 26,172 bombs last year. 2016. That's almost 72 per day. That's about 3 bombs an hour. Every hour. For the entire year. In 2017, the US had already dropped more bombs than that by September. The US Navy has the second largest air force in the world. The US Army has the third. To be in the top 1% of Americans in terms of income, you need to rake in about $400,000 a year. Round it off to $1,000 a day. Hoo hoo. I only have $999 to go today. The overall goal in golf is to play less golf. This is analogous to my approach at my job. When NASA pitched the idea of the Voyager missions to Richard Nixon with the idea of touring the outer planets, he was told that the last time it was possible, Thomas Jefferson was in the White House. 
The particular planetary alignment that Voyager 2 used on its journey occurs only once every 176 years. Jefferson really dropped the ball. F. Louisiana. We called to St. Louis and Clark to Mars. That was apparently literally what the guy proposing it said to Nixon. Mr. President, the last time this was possible Thomas Jefferson was sitting where you are, and he really dropped the ball. Nixon laughed and, partially, approved the mission. He was told that the last time it was possible, Thomas Jefferson was in the White House. Ida May was sitting here thinking they didn't have space travel in the 1800s. But you meant like planetary alignment, we didn't have space in the 1800s. The overwhelming majority of hands you've touched have had a dick in them at one point. You don't remember being born almost to the first years of your existence. All you know is one day you just started existing and taking in experience memories. Anything beyond three years ago is nothingness to me. Should I be worried? Unless you're four years old this is somewhat concerning. Macaulay Culkin is now older than Catherine O'Hara was when she played his mom in Home Alone. Mark Hamill in The Force Awakens is the same age that Alec Guinness was in A New Hope. Bill Clinton, George W. Bush and Donald Trump were all born within a 66-day stretch. Take the last eight U.S. presidents. Look at the years they were born. Given that the president must be 35 years old, and the oldest president was 70 years old when he took office, there is a maximum possible span of 83 years of birth years between them. So, choosing 8 out of 83, you might expect the occasional repeat decade, but between the 8 of them, there are only 5 birth years. 1911, Reagan, 1913, Nixon, Fort, 1924, Carter, H.W., Bush, 1946, W., Bush, Clinton, Trump, and 1961, Obama. In the 36 preceding presidents there are only two pairs with the same birth year, 1822, Grant, Hayes, and 1767, Jackson, Adams. Similarly, JFK, CS, Lewis, and Aldous Huxley all died on the same day. Your body consists of roughly a 1 to 1 ratio of bacterial to human cells, but human cells are bigger and more complex with a big mitochondria to power them. All that stuff you learn about in history class about civilizations rising up and dying out, about certain groups killing off other groups and taking over their lands, that is still happening right now. I thought that stopped when I got out of school. It is unlikely that a person could actually die in quicksand. Since most quicksand is only a few inches deep, most people who do die in quicksand get stuck in tidal basins and drown when the tide comes in. Source has been stuck in quicksand to my armpits but I got out before the tide came in. For a split second I thought, did he get out in time? The UK Dyslexia Association is situated in reading, pronounced redying to those unaware, also pronounced redying to those who are aware. Dozens of Americans die every day from slipping in the shower and hitting their heads. Dozens, I tell you. It's one of the primary leading causes of non-medical deaths in the USA. That's why you gotta sit in the shower and enjoy relaxation of not going to die. This makes me appreciate the lime buildup in my tub from decades of hard water. It won't go away, but my crusty tub is never slippery. If you have clean water and temperature control you are better off than half the population. An iPhone is more powerful than every computer NASA had, combined. In 1969 during the first lunar landing, the majority of the first American settlers only survived the first winter by eating their dead children. Okay WTF I hate having to do this but I want a source on that crazy sh National Geographic story on cannibalism in Jamestown. It makes sense. Have you ever tried eating them when they are still alive? Donna. Party of six. Donna. Party of five. Donna. Party of four. 6 quadrillion, 520 trillion, Earth volumes make up the same volume as the largest known star, UY Scuti, that's 6, 520, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 x Earth. Gary Newman is older than Gary Oldman by a little under 2 weeks, what's new is old and what's old is new. You can place all the planets of our solar system between Earth and Moon and even have a bit of spare space after. It's like the 10th time I read this but I'm still mind blown by this fact. Space is big as F. 
10 out of 10 scientists all agree that this is a bad idea and should not be attempted. In the span of the last three Star Wars movies, the Cleveland Browns have won one game. Not a football fan but, are you saying that in the past two years, the Browns have lost all games that they've played except for one, they are 0-14 this season. Last season they were 1-15. The year before that they were 3-13 and their third win was before the release of The Force Awakens. Since then they had one win to avoid going winless against the Chargers last year and Rogue One was released, and this season they are two games away from being only the second imperfect team of all time, along with the 2008 Lions, and The Last Jedi was released, why you gotta do my browns like that, 0-14 this season, 1-15 last season, 0-3 to end the 2015 season, they beat the 49ers a few days before Force Awakens was released. The man who invented the frisbee was cremated and turned into a frisbee. Okay, but how? My son was cremated and there's no way I could turn his ashes into a frisbee. If you have two legs you have more than the average amount of legs. In the USA more soldiers die from suicide than in combat. OP said fun fact. Not make me want to cry fact. In 2008 the subreddit R Jailbait was voted subreddit of the year in a best of reddit poll. Reddit sure has come a long way. At one point it was the first search term listed when searching for Reddit on Google, and it was only banned when the news media and stories on it, it existed comfortably for years. Here's the explanation from the Reddit CEO who took over soon after its banning. I wonder what today's would be. The Teotihuacan pyramids, known to be the most architecturally significant Mesoamerican pyramids, were not built by the Aztecs. The Aztecs found it abandoned, settled there and gave it its name. The origin of its founders are still a mystery. I studied Mesoamerican cultures in college for some reason and it's not that great of a mystery. There's not a consensus on what the people called themselves, because they had vacated by the time the Nahuatl Aztecs lived. However it's pretty safe to say its founders were from around the mountains of northern central Mexico, and archaeologists actually know quite a bit about their culture. At one point in your life you were the youngest person on the planet congratulations. The Oxford University is actually older than the Aztecs. Interesting. The University of Oxford, informally Oxford University or simply Oxford, is a collegiate research university located in Oxford, England. It has no known date of foundation but there is evidence of teaching as far back as 1096, making it the oldest university in the English-speaking world and the world's second oldest university in continuous operation. It grew rapidly from 1167 when Henry II banned English students from attending the University of Paris, after disputes between students and Oxford townsfolk in 1209. Some academics fled northeast to Cambridge where they established what became the University of Cambridge. The two ancient universities are frequently jointly referred to as Oxbridge, the Aztec Empire or the Triple Alliance, began as an alliance of three Nahural to petal city-states. Mexico Tenochtitlan, Tixcoco, and Tlacopan. These three city-states ruled the area in and around the Valley of Mexico from 1428 until the combined forces of the Spanish conquistadores and their native allies under Hernan Cortes defeated them in 1521. 